What is dyslexia? Why do dyslexics struggle with small words? Why do they turn sore into was? In order to understand the problem, we need to understand the difference between an image and a symbol. Because a visual thinker can easily think with an image, but they can struggle with a symbol. Here is an image. If I ask you what this image represents, what's the meaning of this image, you probably can tell me immediately. Yeah, it's a jumping goal. What about this one? What does that one mean? What is that one? Is it an X? Yeah, that would be right. Is it a cross? Yes, that would be right too. Does it mean no entry? It could mean that. Does it mean wrong? Could mean that. Does it mean a kiss? Yeah, it could mean that. So a symbol can mean a lot of different things. And that's one of the problems with a symbol. We need to learn what it means. An image, we already know what it means. We have mastered the meaning of an image throughout our life. We know what it means. And why? Because an image looks like what it represents. A symbol does not look like what it represents. It has a meaning, but it doesn't look like that meaning. Here's another image. It could be an image. It could be a symbol. It's kind of a halfway between. So you may recognize what this image represents. It's a kind of a joke. But if you don't recognize what this image represents, you are more likely to figure it out if you're a nonverbal thinker, if you're a dyslexic thinker. And the reason is that when you're confused, you do something very intelligent. You extrapolate. You try and picture what it would look like from a different angle. And what could this look like from a different angle? It could look like this. Yeah. And when you see something from a different angle, you get more data about it. And when it's a real three-dimensional object, it clears up the confusion. Let's have a look at this one. This is a genuine photograph that I took. I cleared away everything around it that could give you clues about what it is. So have a think, what could this be? It could be a lot of different things. I'm hoping that you are confused about what this is, because if you were able to see it from a different angle, do you think that could clear up your confusion? Let's find out. Yeah, is the confusion gone? Yeah, that's what the dyslexic 3D talent does. And by the time a, a dyslexic or a nonverbal thinker gets to school, they will have developed this talent to a very high level. And whenever they are confused, it automatically engages, even without them noticing. And normally, it clears up the confusion. That's one of the things that creates the gift of dyslexia. It clears up confusion very, very quickly about real three-dimensional objects and situations. But what about symbols? Here's one. What happens if someone has developed a 3D manipulation strategy to clear up confusion and they see this one and they get confused? What are they likely to do? Without even noticing, they are likely to do this. Does that add more information? Possibly. Does it clear up the confusion? No, it increases the confusion. They might do this. Does that clear up the confusion? No, it increases the confusion. It might be this. It increases the confusion. And this is one of the most common dyslexia symptoms. They might do the same with the S. Which way does the S face? They might do the same with a lot of other letters, like lowercase n could look like a lowercase u if you rotate it. And the word like saw can look like was in your memory, which results in unstable memory.